Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 54th video in uh, PyQt5 GUI application development. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can insert data from your Qt table widget into MySQL database. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you that how you can retrieve data from your MySQL database in a Qt table widget. So uh, I have, uh, I'm using my previous uh, uh, database and these are the three data that I have, names and email addresses. Uh, now let me just uh, open my Qt designer because I want to design this. So let me just create uh, like this. Let me make it uh, remove the, and remove the status, status bar. I need a, a Q table widget. Uh, we need a item based, not model based. So let me add this in here. Like this. Okay, so let me just add a row and column count for this. So the row count, I'm going to give it eight, and for the column count, let me give it three, okay? So like this, and also I need to add a push button in here, a push button, and let me add it in this section and change this to load data okay so give these two a layout also give a layout to your window okay now let me just save this and I want to convert this to mm, the Python file so you can save this in the uh, Python and the scripts folder and you can give it a name so I want to give it uh, app.ui save now we are going to open our scripts folder and we need to convert this so we have app.ui let me uh, convert this Okay, now we are going to convert our this uh, app uh, UI file to Python file. So py uic5 uh, x and uh, app.py dot ui. So this is my UI file name, and uh, uh, I want to give the name for Python file uh, to give it my uh, app uh, or uh, so you can give it um, what I give. I don't know. Uh, DB app. DB app dot py. Okay. So now we have a DB app uh, Python file. Let me just cut this and I want to paste this in my uh, PyCharm ID. So let me just paste it in here and uh, paste. Okay. So now this is. Uh, our uh, sample application that we have designed in Qt Designer. Let me run this. You can see that this is our button and our Qt widget. So now uh, we're going to import. Uh, so I want to import uh, import MySQL DB as MDB. Also, I want to import EST. Okay. The first thing I need, I'm going to create a method uh, of for converting of my data so I call it my converter and you can pass a parameter so I want to give it my data uh, now I want to create uh, an inner method in here so the uh, CVT I want to give data I create a try and return uh, EST dot literal dot literal evil and I want to add the string data in here okay uh, so this is for try and accept accept etc 
exception exception return uh, str data and at the end you need to return uh, the uh, tuple of our uh, data so a uh, map and you can see in the map we have a function that we have already created this is our the CVT function and uh, we have the uh, iteration data that is our data so you can give the CVT uh, like this and we have my uh, data so now we have created this after this in here we are going to create our uh, uh, def uh, load data create a DB object so uh, mdb dot connect and in here you need to add the host so you can add your host and also you need to add your password your root uh, in this section so for the host I want to give it a local host uh, user is root and I don't have any password and the database name is pyqd5 now with db we are going to create a cursor object db dot cursor and we need to create a rows in here so cur dot execute and we are going to execute select all from data and uh, in here we need to data uh, cur dot fetch and we are going to fetch all the data now we need to create a for loop so for row and data for row and data self dot uh, also we need to uh, create uh, I think we need another method in here so uh, before this uh, let me just move this because we need to create an add table uh, method in here so in here I want to create uh, Def add table and uh, in here we need to give self and also need to give a columns parameter. So I want to get the row position. So row position self dot table widget dot row count dot row count and uh, after this uh, we are going to insert the row so self dot insert uh, self dot table widget dot insert row and at the row position okay now we are going to uh, create a for a loop so for i uh, column for i column in enumerate Uh, columns self dot table widget table widget dot set item we are going to set item at the uh, row position and uh, this is the i index qt widget Qt widgets dot q table widget item q table widget item so let me bring it in here and in here you need to add your uh, column so make sure that convert this to string and add the column like this okay so now we have created our add table now in this section we are going to add our table for row and data 
so dot table widget dot at uh, table so mm, let me just uh, check this so diff setup ui okay also oh sorry not table widget so dot add table okay so dot add table and you need to add your my converter and add the row and after that you need to cur dot close close the cursor okay so now we are going to connect this with our push button uh, so dot push button dot clicked dot connect and we are going to uh, connect our load uh, data in here so self dot load data now I'm going to run this so if I click on load data you can see that uh, I have data in here but uh, I think uh, uh, I have uh, the not well, so I have data in here but uh, in here we have uh, a blank space because uh, I think I have uh, uh, a problem in my table widget so there is no pro problem you can figure that but we have successfully retrieved the three data that we have in the database so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and I will add the source code to the video